Table is one of the most popular custom built component for a screen flow. With Winter 22.3 release, Salesforce launch data table as a native component for a screen flow. So in this video, we will learn what is data table and how you can configure data table for your use case and how you can process the selected records. So let's get started. For this example, what we want is we want to put a button on account object so that user can select multiple open opportunity open opportunity for that account and we also want to allow them to select a stage so they can select one stage for selected accounts and once they are done we want to update all open opportunity to that stage like for example here this is an account and it has four open opportunities so when i click on this button it display all open opportunities so let's say that i want to update these two open opportunity stays to proposal pricing code and once i click on the next boom you can see here the the stays get updated now how do you configure this using salesforce out of the box data table so let's jump to the flows the first thing first you have to get all the record using get record element so as we are going to use a quick actions to call our flow, so to pass this account ID, what we have to do first is create a variable called record ID. And this basically allow you to pass current account ID to the flows. Next, we will use a get record element. And this get record element, the whole purpose of is find out which opportunity you want to display. For this example, we want to display related opportunity of that account which is still open it means object is opportunity account id equals to record id which is basically we are telling salesforce hey give me all open op opportunity where account id is this and is close equals to false means it is still open and give me all open opportunities for this example i did not sort the record but if you want you can sort out the record sort the record based on the name based on the stage or amount Next, uh, we want to make sure that it has open opportunity. If it does not have open opportunity, we don't want to display the screen that I'll ask them to select some record. So let's check. Does open opportunity exist? The answer would be yes or no. If yes, it means my record collection variable is null, false. If no, means I want to stop here and I can add a screen, say that uh, display no message and you can add a display text, say that no open opportunity found now if record exists what we want so this is the crucial step so what we want here is drag and drop a data table i already built it but just to show you so drag and drop data table here you can give the name like say that uh, data table now select the source so we already have get record element next there are different options when you add the data table do you want to allow them to select multiple one record or it is just a read only table depend on the your use case for this example i am going to select multiple now what is the minimum selection and maximum selections if i say minimum you have to select one to proceed or maximum you can select let's say five now configure column so click here uh, or you can select go ahead type here select the name if you want to use custom uh, label otherwise salesforce will bring that label from the field if you want to use custom label use that likewise you can use um, column uh, for example another column let's say stage name or amount so let me delete this go ahead so this is what i have done here 
name amount stage and opportunity type very straightforward if i want to add one more go ahead and you can say okay close date that's all next uh, you want to do the component visibility i don't have any requirements so i'm going to skip this section next at the advance advance is basically if you want to manually store the value so manual salesforce give you two things first select first selected rows or all selected rows so if you want to store you want to create your own custom variables to store it you can do so but i am going to skip this for now next stage for a stage i used uh, the pick list so you can drag and drop a pick list and this is nothing but, but a pick list choice set so let me go and show you the pick list choice set so this is pick list choice set from opportunity so what pick list choice set does here so pick list choice set basically allow us to bring a pick list directly into the flow so that i don't have to recreate this pick list uh, from scratch into this flow so what i did here is i selected object pick list type data type basically pick list and select the fields that's all salesforce will bring that pick list uh, to the flow without recreating that pick list so that's all here in the screen flow next <coughs> now one thing that we have to understand here is uh, the selected record rows so selected record salesforce is stored in the record collections variable so it is basically opportunity record collections variable now if i want to update here you know that there is a new features which salesforce allow you to uh, select id in so i cannot select here id in so i cannot say that my selected record so you can only see the first selected rows that's why what we have to do is we have to use the loop element and in the loop element what i have done is i have pass the selected rows so i want to loop through it and add the selected account id opportunity id sorry opportunity id into a collections variable so this is where the opportunity id is nothing but a collections variable of type text so collections variable basically allow you to store uh, multiple values of same type so in this example i in my goal is to store all opportunity id which is selected by user so use an assignment element and in the left hand side where we i want to assign and what i want to assign is nothing but loop and opportunity id that's all the final step is uh, i use update record element and i'm saying here hey update opportunity where opportunity id in my list which is basically record collections variable and update stays to what the stage of stage that user selected which is a screen component stage let's go ahead save this flow and activate this and let me reload this So you see now here is close date as well and say that i want to update this and this to negotiation review and you see here there are a few best practices which i did not follow for this flow because i just created for writing blog i'll make it very simple one is here you want to make sure that the collection is not null so add a decision element you can check where t is not null is null false if it's null we don't want to go and update any uh, dml statement so you can say is it empty so you can say no and i can say yes if it's no then only i want to go ahead and do some update otherwise i don't want to do updates but i skip that because i want to make this blog and video short thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below